In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to disable Microsoft Family Features on Windows 10. It's super straightforward and easy to do, but make sure you pay close attention, watch the video the whole way through to ensure that you get every step correct. Let's get right into it. So first of all, what we need to do is actually open Task Manager. And to do that, you can just go into the search bar down here, type in Task Manager, and it will pop open a tab that looks like this. Now to start off with, you might just be on a smaller window. What you can do down the bottom, there will be a little thing that says expand details or something down here. You just want to click on that arrow there and it should expand it until you can see a section that looks a bit more like this. So now what we need to do is we need to scroll down here and we're looking for something that starts with a W. So we need to go down to the W section on the name. So we'll scroll down to W. And here we are, it's called WPC Mon SVC. And next to it on description, it will say parental controls. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead on this, right click it and press stop. Now for me, you can already see, you can see the stop is grayed out. And that's because I've already stopped it on mine, but press stop there and that should stop it. So now what we need to go ahead and do is right click on here and go to open services. So once we're in the open services bit, we need to go to the parental controls section. And basically I'm just going to scroll down until I see parental controls. Here we go, parental controls. So what we want to do is we want to actually right click on this and we want to go to properties. Then from properties, we want to go over to the start up type. And we want to change this from manual to disabled. Once we've changed it to disabled, we can click, click apply and then we can click OK. And basically now what this means, once you pressed OK and everything, it means that the WPC Mon SVC services here, it means that this thing will not be able to start by itself. And you basically will have to manually start it again if you want it to start running again which is something to take into note. So if you need to go ahead if you need to go ahead and start it up again, you can just right click on it, go back to the open services and just change it from disabled to manual. And then you can go back onto this section here and put start on this and it should start it back up. And that's basically how you go about doing it. Now one more thing to note is that to go ahead and do this, you need to have admin privileges on your PC, which means that if you're on some kind of guest account, then it's definitely not going to work and it's not going to, yeah, you're not going to, be able to disable it. So that's basically how you would go about doing it. If you did enjoy this video and you found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below that it helped you out. Thank you for watching.